All righty. Well, welcome. Welcome. I know. We weren't supposed to be together. Not going to keep you long. Did you like how we did it yesterday? We're going to kind of do the same today. But it, it, it's going to be back to back. You'll see in a minute what we, what we do. But for right now, allow me just to say welcome. And to also tell you that what we do is we study the Iraqi dinar. And uh, it is a speculative investment. And because of that, we do not offer you a date. We do not offer you a rate. And, you know, I, I can keep talking about that until I'm blue in the face. But it doesn't seem to do any good. It doesn't seem to do any good whatsoever. I don't copyright my material. <laughs> Imagine if I did. Um, do you know the word plagiarism? Uh, even in, in an opinion. But I don't do that. People want to take our work, take it. But don't be so rude as to change it. Don't be so rude as to put your name at the bottom of it. I'm asking you, keep our opinion in intact. It turns out that uh, there is a movement, there is a a march, there is an exodus uh, from other places. I got to be careful here. And we are getting m massive, uh, uh, massive membership. How's that? And they are bringing their luggage with them. <laughs> and some of the things that they have in their suitcase, you know, just don't belong with us. And some of the things that they have in their suitcases are completely off balanced. And that's because where they came from, they told them that we said this, and that's not what we said. So I'm glad you're with us, because I'd like to tell you some more things tonight. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday we talked about the, um, the idea that, uh, th that I introduced, um, I guess, the colloquialism of, of Fab Four. The Fab Four, once again, the IMF, the World Bank, the United States Treasury, and the President of the United States of America. And what I talked to you for many years uh, was the first three. Now we are talking to you about number four of that of that of that uh, tetra uh, set. These four individuals um, have been guiding Iraq with the reinstatement of their currency. You know why? Because the United States of America has invested heavily in Iraq. And we expect we expect things to work out the way uh, the plan called for it. The Fab Four did this for the Central Bank of Iraq. They guided them. Go back. It happens every ten years. This one's this one was derailed by the Democrats and Obama when we pulled the troops out of Iraq. And putting it very simply, this president this office of the presidency of the United States of America is extremely uh, concerned about the Iraqi dinar and about Iraq. Now, on the, on the day he swore, I am the president of the United States of America, thank you very much, he had an inaugural ball that night. He sent his son-in-law and a team of people straight to Iraq while he was eating his jello. Mm, good. And uh, he got, uh, you know, an update of what's going on in Iraq because there was no files, there was no update, there was no data, there was no intel that Obama left that was of any value. Do you think that the 
the, the reinstatement or the revaluation. In other words, the last time that we went to a country and said, you want some help? Do you, and we do this every 10 years because it's reflective to our stock markets that ebb and flow every 10 years. Do you think that the last time, who was it, Kuwait? Do you think Kuwait knew how to revalue their currency? No. You think Iraq knows how to revalue? You think the Central Bank of Iraq knows what to do, how to do it? No. Heck, we have to get, or they got rid of the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq. In fact, there really was, and Dr. Shabibi was was called in to help. He didn't really hold the title of the governor. But anyway, so they bring in a uh, yes man, yes ma'am, yes sir, yes man. Oh, a yes man. Yeah, a lot. That's good. Fine. Get in there. You're, <laughs> you'll do anything for you. Anyways, so he did it. You think that I, you think I, the CBI knew how to reinstate their currency? So the Fab Four taught them how, and now the President of the United States of America is really focused in on this. Let me show you something. I made a post on our forum. If you're not a member of our forum, you should be. What's our forum? KTFalways.com. Keep you just saw it. Keep the faith always. KTFalways.com. If you have problems, what's my phone number? 419-283-2552. Now, um, dear God, I forgot what I was going to show you. Oh, my dear God. Family, there's a lot uh, happening. But you don't want to hear uh, my labors. You just, uh, you're hungry to know what, we, what it is that we have. Oh, dear God, please, Heavenly Father, help me. I'm, I'm messing up here. I'm tired and I can't remember everything. Why did I grab this phone? You were about to show us your post. My post? You made a post on the phone. Thank you! Somebody give him a cookie. Well, give him a half a cookie. No, give... you. Get, let them look at one of my cookies. See, can you see it? I want to read to you this. And I made this post inside of Team Chat. And it'll set the atmosphere for, for what we're about to do here. Last night on um, my UB2B, I asked the question Who's your daddy? The answer, in my opinion, is the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. With that said, watch this. I prayed a lot before I came on tonight. I'm going to be a good boy. <laughs> Uh, the president, uh, la, 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 la. who's your daddy? The answer, in my opinion, is the president of, you know, a lot of people say, well, Frank, why'd you turn off your phone? You're stupid. Turn off your phone. You, uh, you should mind your own business. I know damn well that the phone is on, and I know very well why I have it on, and there's a need for it to be on. Thank you very much. Last night on my UB2B, I asked the, uh, the question, IQD, what? Who's your daddy? The answer, in my opinion, is that the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. With that said, watch this. Last week, the Minister of Finance of the GOI met with one of the Fab Four in Washington, D.C., the IMF. That's one. Then, lay, days later, the Minister of Finance also then met with a second of the Fab Four in Washington, D.C., the United States Treasury with Steve uh, Mnuchin. I said it right. With Steve Mnuchin. Then, that's two. Then, today, the Minister of Finance of the GOI meets with the Executive Director of the World Bank, a third of the Fab Four. Now, with this all said, 
watching my UB2 be entitled, Who's Your Daddy?, will make more sense to everyone that the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, the fourth of the Fab Four, will now become more deeply involved with Iraq. That's what I believe deeply in my heart, and that's what we're seeing as a team. Face to face. You know, there's a program on television, and I think it's on Sunday mornings, where it's called uh, Face the Nation. Now, the reason why the name of that title is because <laughs> this is the media facing the nation. These are politicians facing the nation, you know, live. It's not a recording. It wasn't touched up. Live. I believe that doing something face-to-face, -face, meeting someone face-to-face, -face, I see you, you see me, uh, is worth more than than a simple phone call that says, Hello, who this? I don't like texting. I don't like phone calls. I don't like emails. I like meeting you face to face. And the closest thing to that right now is uh, talking on the phone. So that means I don't like texts. I don't like PMs. I don't like emails. Face to face, huh? That's exactly what happened with three of the four, and Donald Trump is the next one. Where's Donald Trump going next week? This whole, this whole call is in my opinion, of course, right? Um, I believe he's going to the Middle East. Trump is going to the Middle East next week. Hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe also to Iraq. Wouldn't it be nice if he goes over there and de deals with Turkey or Syria or Saudi Arabia, whatever it is he's doing, and then all of a sudden he goes, hey, what, what? 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 Over there, over there, there, over here. What? You guys ready? You want to talk? You already talked to all my boys. You want to talk to me now? So, um, all righty. But I'll tell you what. I ain't coming to Iraq. You come to the United States of America. I'll meet you there. Ooh, snap. You didn't expect that, did you? Uh, I don't know what to expect, to tell you the truth, family. I just sit here and I just talk and I don't, I don't know. This is just my opinion. You see, you, um, in fact, I'll tell you what. What? Uh, Mr., uh, Mr., uh, Min Minister of Finance, um, uh, do me a favor. What? Before you leave Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Let's talk face to face. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. What you doing next? Whatever. And wouldn't it be interesting if, yeah. Okay, so the Minister of Finance from the Gen from the GOI. How come in anybody, anybody from the CBI? Because they already met. They already did all their stuff. Crossed their T's, dotted their I's. And they're going about their lava flow. But in the meantime, GOI. What? Just send us your finance guy because we need to talk to him. As soon as you guys get your act together, as soon as you take care of the citizens, this guy's going to tell you something. So who does he talk to? Boom, boom, boom. And now the fourth one of the fab, boom. Interesting. Wouldn't it be something if it's, you know, like this? Ring-a-ding-ding. Ring-a-ding-ding. Who this? And this is the Minister of Finance. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What's your name, by the way? Oh. Fuad, Fuad Hussein, Fuad baby, FH, let me ask you something, you going home? Yeah, I already met with the IMF, World Bank, and the United States Treasury, well I'll tell you what, you ain't going nowhere, what, <laughs> no you ain't going nowhere, me the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, I'd like to talk to you. Because you're not leaving until you give me what I told you to do. <laughs> and you guys only got about a week left, ain't it? How's the 25th looking for you? So you talk to me before you go home. In fact, I tell you what, I'm going to the Middle East. You go home, and if you talk to them, you get that GOI set for on the 25th. I'm in the I'm in the hood. I'll be the, I'll be down 7-Eleven. I'll be down at 7-Eleven. 
eating a burrito. So give me a holla, and I'll uh, I'll just jump on uh, on on Air Force One, and I'll be right there. You see, all the major players are checking in with you. Minister of Finance of the GOI. IMF, World Bank, United States, Treasury. And then all of a sudden, who did you meet with today? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here. Don't move. Let me ask you a question. Who did you meet last week? IMF. Minister of Finance, Fuad Hussein. Who did you meet right after that? World Bank. All in D.C.? Yeah. Why? And who did you meet after that? At the beginning of this week? United States Treasury. It's in the articles. Did I do something wrong? No. Look, look. Okay, so it was IMF, World Bank last week, and then this week, U.S. Treasury. And who did you just meet with yesterday? The IMF. But then, when you first arrived last week, who did you meet with? IMF. And now you're meeting the IMF again? Yeah. <gasps> oh, dude, no one picked up on that. <laughs> we did. What is the IMF? What have I called her uh, in the last three days? Mother. Mother. You understanding, family? The IMF met twice, in my opinion, within one week. That's encouraging to me because the IMF, who I call mother, well, you were, is... is <laughs> is who I would love for them to meet with, especially the Minister of Finance. Get in there and tell your people in the GOI to get their act together. CBI is ready. In fact, CBI is doing it. It wasn't some top official. It wasn't some executive director. It wasn't just the Fab Three. It wasn't just... This is mother. This is the IMF. You went back and you talked to them again. You see... The President of the United States of America, and what did we say about the IMF? That's USA. What did we say about Fab Four? They're all USA. You see, the Fab Four put together, put this all together. We call it, they called it the plan. And now he has put another plan together for you. He is the host. He is the host. So, uh, we would love to host you and uh, stay a little longer and get it done on this side. You see, what we want is that commitment. We want that signature. We want that document. We want, we want that proof. Uh, then, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, now that Trump has hosted the Minister of Finance in Washington, D.C., to deal with the Fab Four, to deal with the reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar, then look for Donald Trump, in my opinion, uh, to look over his shoulder and ask for these meetings, uh, for these reports of these uh, of these meetings with the IMF and World Bank and U.S. Treasury. Uh, as he hopefully meets with the Minister of Finance before he leaves D.C. You see, ladies and gentlemen, Yesterday I told you that, in my opinion, it's now the president's turn to get involved with Iraq, but he already is. <laughs> from, from, from the day that he said, I, I accept the presidency, that inaugural night he started. He sent a convoy over to Iraq with his son-in-law leading it. He saw it was a mess. So he took Iraq, he took their oil, he took the potential, just like a businessman, and he divided, 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 divided up. He broke it down, dude, and he gave it a little bit to, want some, want some of this? Yeah, want a little something, something? He gave it to everybody that he could make deals with. He says, anybody want a piece of this cake? It's not yellow cake. You see, Iran can scare the living crap out of you, can't they, other nations? You don't want that yellow cake, do you? You want to eat your cake. 
all of it, don't you? So the Trump deals were phenomenal when he started to use Iraq to do what he did. And you know the rest of the story. So in all honesty, it's not Donald Trump that's getting involved with Iraq already because he already is. It's, it's Donald Trump putting his hands uh, on the monetary reform, in my opinion. It's time to pay up. The moves that President Trump made, is making, in the Middle East those are blueprints. Those are blueprints. But we can't tell you about them. They're blueprints of a successful monetary reform in Iraq. Hoorah. Listen to my words carefully. Even though they are all in my opinion. Ladies and gentlemen, anything that Donald Trump touches in all honesty, it's almost like a Midas touch. It may be brutal to get to that point. But the man's got the Midas touch, a golden touch. He, uh, he arranged for the Minister of Finance to be hosted in the United States of America, not with executive, administrative. This was with the, the Fab Four, well, the Fab Three. And and if things work out with the Fab, you know, with the Three, then Four wants to talk. And it should be now before he even goes back. Or I'll meet you over there, but I'm going to go do some things. And while you're talking to the GOI, let me know if you guys are ready and I'll come over. In fact, I'll tell you what. I probably won't come over. I just go home. You guys celebrate. Do your thing. Party hardy. 25th? No, Frank. What's the matter with you? You're stupid. <laughs> Why am I stupid? Because everybody knows it's the 25th or the 22nd of November. Well, you're stupid. <laughs> I love when they argue with no sense. Let me ask you something. Where are you from? I'm from, uh, uh, <laughs> I better not. I know. Stop it. I'm from, I'm from what, another site. And what do they say there? Well, they're saying that, no, the citizens are not going to fight back. They're not going to protest. They're going to do nothing until November the twenty. 22nd or something like that. Really? Yeah. Really? You, you think that this is what the citizens are going to do? Yeah. Where'd you read this? Well, it's my guru told me. Where did he read it? Uh, he said he got it from an article. Let me see the article. I never I, I never saw it. You, belong, you need to belong to KTFOS.com. We got articles all over the place. We can give you two for one if you want. I don't believe that they're going to, the citizens are going to be nice and say, okay, why don't you just take it and torture us, you know, until November the 22nd. That sounds good, okay? Okay. <laughs> no. 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 All righty. So, um, did you, un how long have we been on thing? 27 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do something that may sound strange to you. Uh, but I I will not explain this to you. Let me let's see. We have uh, about fifteen hundred people uh, on right now. Fifteen hundred people. I am shutting down this YouTube recording, and I'm going to start another one. Thirty seconds after that, part one has come to an end. Of receipt, please. Part two will start in just a moment. I'll see you in a bit. I can read it.
Benjamin. Ready? Greetings, family. Welcome to part two of Receipt, Please. The moves that President Trump, uh, that he's making right now, and by the way, this whole YouTube is, in my opinion, we are studying the Iraqi dinar. We do not offer you a date. We do not offer you a rate. We offer you an opinion of what we believe is going on with the reinstatement of the Iraqi Nadar, actually with the monetary reform of the Iraqi Nadar. Continuing, part two. The moves that the President of the United States is making right now um, are putting him in a position that he is uh, unveiling what we call uh, the blueprints, the blueprints uh, to be successful with the monetary reform, and he did it to the finance minister. Now, part one just explained everything about that finance minister and the relationship with what we call the Fab Four. And I left it by telling you that anything that Donald Trump seems to touch seems to have a Midas touch to it. Watch this unfold. Watch what happens. And we were talking about the fact that I don't believe they're going to go until November the 22nd. The, you know, the, the citizens, no, they're not going to extend it. Extend their, their agony, their torture. Tink, is there any way that you can fix this? They're not going to extend their torture, right? The 25th. If not, then we'll, they'll deal with it, in my opinion. Anyways, um, and, and as far as uh, if other gurus are saying that they believe that that's what's going to happen, that's their business. But instead, I say that I'm looking from now until the 25th, uh, for them to, the, them being the CBI, uh, to feel comfortable enough to release the pictures and descriptions of the lower of the lower notes. I don't know um, because once the twenty fifth gets here, it's going to get nasty again. And I don't want to. I don't want that to happen. I mean, we don't want loss of lives. And I pray that if there is demonstration, that it's done peacefully. But my point is, though, that from now, as I'm talking to you, until around the 25th, I am looking for those pictures and descriptions of the lowered uh, notes. Why? Because, in my opinion, uh, the banks have what we feel uh, we call what we created is a. Uh, uh, time-stamped uh, receipt get, uh, telling them that um, you're about to receive a date and a time to release the lower denoms. <clears throat> we felt that last Monday, they would, this past Monday, what was that, six days ago, that the banks would receive the lower denoms. I want to tell you something about that. I want to tell you something about that. I want to tell you something about that. Um, and I will in just a little bit. This is right now more of a GOI report to you because President Donald Trump is not concerned to meet with the CBI, you notice? They're ready. The focus is the, mon is the Minister of Finance who's in D.C., the focus is the Minister of Finance reports to the Fab Four. Actually, the Fab Three, U.S. Treasury, IMF, World Bank, that will be given to the fourth part of the Fab Four, Donald Trump. As the, as the CBI uh, is getting countless awards and, and, and recognition of international status, I mean... As the world proclaims the CBI and the Iraqi dinar to be a part of them, a part of theirs, a part of them, 
we still got to, or <laughs> we still got to wait for the GOI, uh, you know, sit on the bidet, sit on the bidet if that's what it takes, clean your, get the, get, get, get the, get the terrace out of the GOI. And that's what's going on. But as as rugged and as nasty as it may seem, I honestly and will never ever abandon my post with my teams. Nothing that the GOI is doing is going to stop the monetary reform of the Iraqi dinar. In fact, if anything at all, I want to play you, a, a, I think it's like a, let me see, it's either nine minutes or six minute uh, recording between me and Delta, or, De or between Delta and I. You know, somebody really tore me a new orifice because they said, you're always saying between me and Delta, you're so rude. You know, he's right, but I don't even realize that I'm being rude. I'm so happy that they point out that I am being rude. This is a, a nine minute recording. I'm telling you. When, I mean, when it's all over and done with, and, and the Lord, if I can go to heaven, if I'm worthy, I want to talk to Moses for a long time. How'd you do it? <laughs> Without going crazy. You just struck the rock. I strike everything. Please enjoy. Now, the reason why I'm going to play this is because I want to set you up because uh, for the next part. It was, it was our belief um, that what if last Monday the banks in Iraq received the lower denoms? What if, you know, it, it, wouldn't that be good? I want to tell you more about what if. This will help you. Of course. You stupid thing, you. Really? Manny! Frankie, Frankie! How you doing, buddy? How you doing? How you doing? I miss you. How's everything? Oh, real good. I'm in the car. I had to take my father to the VA uh, today. And we are we just got him some Chinese food. Going to take him home. And then I'm going to do a small YouTube tonight. And uh, I'm going to talk about what, uh, what, what is happening. Because we found out... How long have we been telling everybody, Manny, that Donald Trump, the United States of America, is in charge of the monetary reform? How, how long have we been saying that? Since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out that Donald Trump uh, decided to talk today, and our family just walked right by it. So I'm going to do a 20-minute video, uh, ub 2 b to explain that, look, Donald Trump is now getting involved with Iraq directly. I forget what post number it is, Manny, but it's on our form. And it's a long one, too, by the way. And I'm going to read all of it tonight. The family has to understand that we are in charge. Yes, yes, the GOI, it's sad what's going on. But the monetary reform never stopped. Never. And listen, I know I haven't had a chance to talk to you, but... They did not deliver the lower denoms on Monday. Instead, what they did is they sent them a, um, a, it's called an awaiting receipt. And what it said was that, and, and I, 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 I don't know the date, you know, but it said that they're going to send them, they're going to, the CBI is going to send the banks in Iraq. Oh, excuse me, hold on. It's going to send them the information. Uh, it's called a schedule. It says we're going to send you the schedule 
of the date and the time of when to release the lower denoms. Wow. So that means that sometime between now and whenever they do that, or simultaneously, we're going to see the pictures and descriptions because that's the only thing that's missing. And they use the Swiss note and the, what was the other one? The Bay, the Belaris, uh, Belaris, uh, uh, no. Yeah, they use those, they use those two currencies because the CBI said, perfect, look, these are lower denoms. Let's show it to the citizens. Look, it says they're going to coexist. Let's show it to the citizens. So they did that yesterday. And very soon, Manny, we're going to get those pictures because they already released the pictures and descriptions of everything that they have done. I, I, it's in our final article thread. It's the latest uh, article we put in there. If you click on the link, oh my gosh, it takes you to, I think, like, I think it's 50, 55, 56 pictures of, uh, of everything. ATMs, the cards, the you name it, you know, the POS, merchant, everything that they've been teaching them. And now, Walking Stick tells me that the next thing is those pictures. They gave you the pictures of the examples of those two other countries. Now they're going to give you the pictures of what they're going to give the citizens. What you got? Tell me. Tell me something good. Well, I mean, everything is good. I do agree with you. I mean, we're definitely in the verge of them to really do something. Uh, especially with the, with the article from 2000, remember 2014, which we talked about it. Um, and they said exactly like the, the preparation was on the way at that time to come up with the lower denomination, coins, etc. And the Central Bank of Morocco has taken at least five years to do something. And this is exactly... We're around, around that time frame, which yeah. was, I believe, on October 29, 2014, when that article basically came out. And then one more thing is, too, um, you remember when, when they came up and they said that um, are we uh, going to withdraw the 50 dinar notes? Um, and, <laughs> and then the reason behind it, they said that um, they're doing that because to eliminate fraud and because... Uh, the more value of that, but then they said something very interesting. It just got to my to my mind like two days ago when they said that one of the reason is because when they delete the, the, the zeros from the currency, they don't want people to get confused between the fifty dollar and the five hundred dollar. Right, that is so, right. Uh, now, so so that gives the indication now with the, with, with the stuff that's coming up right now that the two fifty, the five hundred, the thousand, whatever it is. That could be an indication that we are really very close now for them to release the rate and lifting the zeros from the currency because I do, I do remember at that time. And then one more thing is, too, if you think about it, the 250, the 500, and the 1,000, they came up last year. And I do believe that very they see those in the market, too, with Ali Mustan and Allah, you know, the names and everything. But now here's, here's the interesting part. For you to come up and distribute more, of those currency, plus of course the lower denomination that you know they're already behind behind closed doors. That means you're, you're about you know really definitely to 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 come up and release a rate. And they from the board of directors of the CBI. Remember last year with that interview, and he said that all oh, we have to do it by this year, which is what that 2018. If not, we're going to wait a year or before the year. So this is exactly the target. With the central bank of Iraq, they do. I mean, we all know they move very slow, but they'll get it done. They will do. There's no delay. There's no postponement. Yeah. They are on target, but they, you know they, the, the way that how they work. You know, they take their time. They want to make sure that the plan never fails and that everything will be okay. You know, the other thing that uh, Walking Stick pointed out to me, and and I found it very, very uh, again reassuring. He said, you remember when they uh, told the citizens, bring us your, your 250, 500, 1000s, the worn and torn, let's replace them, because they're going to go and coexist with the uh, small notes that we're going to give you uh, uh, down the road. And I said, well, of course I remember. He said, do you remember that at that time, they also brought out a 250, a 500, and a 1,000 from other countries that were going through their reinstatement, their redenomination, their revaluation. And I said, son of a gun, I do remember that. 
I don't remember the 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 the, the currency, but I remember they brought out uh, a small category note that was equivalent to the one that they were saying, "Bring them in, worn and torn. Let's replace them. They'll coexist." And uh, and Walking Stick says, Frank, they have been using the the monetary reform of many countries as examples to teach this is the tools that the one of the tools are using to teach the citizens of what is happening to their currency and i and i cracked up and i said well no wonder they used the swiss note it reminded them of the swiss dinar note with with Saddam's picture on it and he laughed he said you know i didn't think about that but in a way that makes sense <laughs> Absolutely, and this is this is just uh, just amazing. And again, uh, remember, we all know that uh, the budget too is supposed to come up this week, but they didn't. And we all know that uh, this budget, specifically based on the financial <laughs> financial management law, <laughs> they told us that uh, there's going to be a uh, different. The rate has to be different in it. Uh, so we really don't, we 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 feel pretty good about, them, in our opinion, <laughs> you know, this month for the CPI to give us more and more information. I agree, my friend. In fact, I'm down to just one thing. The pictures, the small uh, note pictures, the description, and, 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 or simultaneously, those, you know, that plus the rate going up so that they can come into the banks and get their lower notes. Anyways, my brother, stay, stay as sharp as you can. Tonight, around 4 o'clock in the morning, Walking Stick will receive more, more, you understand, that is being sent from mother to their banks. So let's see what happens. I'll call you tomorrow and give you an update, okay? You got it, sir. You have a wonderful time, buddy. You bet. Love you, Manny. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you, Renee. Take care. Bye-bye. We've been on 17. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, let me turn that off. In fact, let me just get rid of it. That was a little bit of a summary of the things that have gone on in the last four or five days, plus a little bit more. In fact, somebody said, the 50 and the what? Well, you better, you need to pay attention or go back and listen to it again. Because um, I don't just play things for the, you know, for the heck of it. There was a piece of information that was important in that recording, and I hope you uh, received it. Now, let's keep talking. Uh, it's uh, 17 minutes Family, I'm only going to be doing videos for 30 minutes at a time. If I go 31, 32, 33, 35, whatever, and I'm not going to explain that. I'm very simply going to tell you. On Monday, if we do a, a, a two-hour program, it's going to be four, uh, four UB2Bs. You understand? All righty. Now, I've got... Uh, about 20 or about 12 minutes to uh, to be with you and what we can do is um, here on Saturdays I leave and I go to my form ktfalways.com and in there we do have something that's called um, KTFA premium it does cost ten dollars a month I've got to pay my bills and what we do on Fridays, you know, and then on Saturdays, here we are, questions and answers. And before I leave you, these are some darn good questions. It looks like I've got about 20, maybe close to about 25 questions here. Uh, uh, premium, I will answer them all. You know I do. But with your permission, uh, and no, I'm not going to stay here and answer all the questions like I've been doing. I, I, I appreciate you all being gracious about it. But I do have a commitment to you, so we'll go talk privately. But your questions are good, though. Yeah, some of these questions are pretty good. So what? do you mind if I just take the first five questions that you've got here? Or maybe select some of these five and answer them? And then I'll go in and I'll answer the other 20-plus questions and any other questions you may have inside of our team chat uh, Q&A for Saturday. All right, here we go. For example, <laughs> this is a funny one. Hey, Frank, in your opinion, do cookies need to crumble or rather significant or or or, or, or have a rather significant replacements needed uh, to happen in the GOI before the RI? Or do these changes even matter to the monetary reform? 
Well, they, it's not like, you know, you have to be totally uh, oblivious to it. Yeah, you know, it's concerning. You're not going to eat uh, your food off of a dirty floor. Thank you, GOI, for the terrace. Um, but you know what? If you're hungry, you're, you're going to eat. <laughs> so the fact that we have these issues with, you know, the government of Iraq and the citizens, uh, and Donald Trump is well aware of it and is going to be getting involved with it very soon, in my opinion. Nobody, over 2,000 years, hey, Democrats, you listening? Nobody ever, Obama, you li I got a video of you, Obama, where you said there's nothing that we can do over there, nothing that we can do uh, with Syria. Ab not, we, not impossible. If there was a solution, we would come up with them. Donald Trump came up with one in a matter of days. And on top of that, Air Andrew, 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 what's his name? Ed Ed, Ed or Ed, the, 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 the turkey guy. I mean, he did what any bad guy would do. He took advantage. The moment that we pulled out, what did he do? He what? Genocide. It made him feel good. The sick people do that. All right. Then Trump gets involved and he says, you better stop that. No, you better stop that. No. Tell you what, you know how I got everybody else to say yes to me? <gasps> You're kidding me. But we're your partners. You better stop that. I'll give you 120 hours. You just better stop that. I'll give you 100. You better stop that. And guess what? He stopped that. Now there's garbage out there. No, the ceasefire didn't work, but it's going to work. This, you know, Donald Trump, it, it, amazingly enough, fixed what couldn't be fixed in a lot of things. Man, it really sounds like I'm like a, like I'm a rah rah, you know, blowing his horn or whatever. No, it's not that. It's just that I am impressed with what he's doing. Do something wrong, I'll tear you apart, uh, Trump. But so far, you've not done too many dumb things. Well, you've done a lot of dumb things, but they all seem to be... It's like there's spiritual guidance without you even knowing it, Trump. Hmm. So, no, I don't think anything has to ha crumble. I don't think any war has to happen. I don't think anybody has to be killed, anything. Would, uh, no, just, just get rid of the terrorists that are in the GOI. But the lava flow... I believe that we're going to have the reinstatement even while they're trying to fix the government of Iraq. They're two separate things. Yes, one stains the other, but they're two separate things. Uh, it's kind of like the same question. Secretary uh, Mnuchin of Treasury holding up for Iraq. No, I don't want to ask that. Uh, what are your thoughts on it? What are your thoughts on... On uh, Iraq being removed uh, from the Human Rights Council at the UN, uh, uh, and uh, Al Tamimi uh, expecting Iraq to return to Chapter Seven after being removed from the United Nations <laughs> Human uh, United Nations Human Rights Council. Well, I already talked about this, and I'll go ahead and talk about it again. Um, yeah, you think that sanctions are are, are <laughs> Trump uses sanctions, uh, GOI. And he will use sanctions on you. In fact, GOI, check this out. It's not so much you guys. So it's not like he's going to put sanctions on Iraq. <laughs> he's going to pick individual people in the GOI. And he's going to sanction the living caca out of them. They will be so dried up. Yeah, they will feel like they're in a desert with no water around it. Yeah, Trump will target individually. It's kind of like, uh, it, it's not what we've been doing, like carpet bombing, <laughs> get them all, you know. No, this is uh, the smart bombs. Uh, they're lasered, and we can see what they're going to hit. So the sanctions, are uh, <laughs> Trump can see with the, what, what individuals will be hit with sanctions financially in the GOI, and that's why they're there in the first place, but that'll squeeze them out. And in the meantime, the CBI, did you get another award for internationalism? Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, how's the monetary reform going? You mean the lava flow? It's going good. Wait till you see what happened at the banks. <laughs> uh, how about, how are we doing on time, Tank? How long have we been on? Six more minutes. Six more minutes. Uh, Frank, if I have a receipt, if they have receipts, 
Is it for the banks in Iraq or they all for the banks internationally? No, just the banks in Iraq. No, no. The, re the, the banks internationally already got samples or specimens of the Iraqi dinar. The articles are in our form if you want to read them. It's the same thing that we taught you that the other, you know, Swiss and, but well, anyways, that's old news. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's let's answer two more questions. Oh, this is a good one. It's a good one. Question number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Said the Beatles. What? On Thursday, Samson posted an article saying, high dollar exchange rate in Iraq. <gasps> I saw that. <laughs> the exchange rate of the dollar on Thursday on the stock exchange struggled and local markets rose significantly and the price of the stock exchange struggled. Baghdad showed 120.500 dinars for $100. Yeah, I know, I know. And I saw the gurus take it and man, did they jump with on it. And they said, oh! Oh, look, it's revalued at $8, $7, whatever they come. And look, it's 120 for eight. You knucklehead. Irresponsible knuckleheads. And then the one that's going around saying that it's a lop, it's a lop, it's a lop, it's a lop. You, that's, you're stupid. I'm sorry. You're, stupid means you're ignorant. Ignorant means you're lacking knowledge. It's not a lop. It is a total opposite. You've got to shut up. You're making yourself look stupid. And by the way, look at this. Stupid. That des you see the decimal point? Well, here's, here's some breaking news. In Iraq, in Iraq, they use the decimal point and the comma in the same manner. So don't exaggerate and lie to people. So no, that was a bunch of garbage. How about just one more question? In your opinion, do you, does does you believe? You mean do you? In your opinion, look, look at uh, question number eleven. In your opinion, do you believe the dong will go at the same time as uh, the dinar? Uh, no, <laughs> no. In fact, um, the Vietnamese the, the Vietnamese um, uh, dong is um, in a in a very very special position right now. Oh, they've been doing good. Their economy, their GDP, their uh, unemployment rate, uh, their inflations, uh, exports, imports, they're doing very good. Their currency ain't worth much. But do you think that maybe, just maybe, in my opinion, do you think that Donald Trump uh, knows about the Vietnamese dong and its potential? Well, of course, already fixed up all the other ones. So let's go to the one, the first one that he fixed up. So tell me, Chinese uh, Yuan, um, if I if I help you and if I load you up with contracts and record deals around the world, and um, would you be willing uh, to share a little bit with, let's say, I don't know, uh, I don't know, say with uh, uh, Hong Kong? No. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Chill. You know, you've all, you've never helped uh, Vietnam. Uh, the lesser brother, would you be willing to send some of that business down in here? Can you imagine what would happen to their currency? Can you imagine? What do you think, huh? What do you think? It's a good idea, huh? Yeah. So, do I think that the Vietnamese dong has potential to go with the Iraqi dinar when it uh, does? Uh, in my opinion, no. Not yet. Time. Uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Enough to say goodbye? No. Enough to tell you something. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want to tell you. You see, for those of you that complain, oh, you talk too long. Yeah. Okay. For those of you, man, you could say everything in five minutes and not five hours. Do you realize that there's actually people that enjoy my company? Hmm. But you see, family, I am sick and tired of the phone calls and the nasty emails that my wife has to see and read with her eyes. We're actually, we're actually nice people. You know, we're not that bad, uh, at least not as bad as a lot of people think I am. we are.
In fact, let me see. Hold on. Listen to this. Stop the fake news and quit using God for your own benefit. You will die. There's some drunk guy that left me a message that I have no idea what he was talking about. I love this one. Well, maybe the same thing. Eh? <laughs> I know, I promise. Okay. Anyways, listen, family, here's what I want to do. Um, I want to tell you something. There it is right here. I got it. Remember I told you last night that Pray, pray that uh, that walking stick report when it comes in. It's in. It's anywhere between three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. This is what I'd like to tell you, because I'm not going to do a YouTube tomorrow. I never do on Sundays, and I'll be with you on Monday. Okay. Remember when I said that in my opinion, in my opinion, or better yet, what if last Monday, what was it, the 14th, what if it turns out that the banks in Iraq uh, received the lower denouns because we saw the truck leave? I mean, a lot, the governor said, hey, everybody, look, look at these trucks, we're moving funds. What kind of funds? I don't know. <laughs> Unknown destination. Out of the green zone. Where the central bank is at. Yeah. Well, that's where you kept the lower dean. I'm stupid. Well, and you just talked about them the day before. Well, so that's why we said to you that in our opinion, what if on the 14th, banks in Iraq receive the lower denouns from mother? from the Central Bank of Iraq. What if? And then, when Monday came, I said, hey, psst, hey, get off my back. <laughs> get off my back. Let's just wait and see what happens until they tell us something. And then the next day on Tuesday, oh, here I am, I got a YouTube, I got to talk to you. What? Um... What if on what if instead what if instead of they you know the, the the lower denoms what if instead the banks maybe got a written receipt telling them uh, you're about to get a schedule with the date and the time of when to release the lower denoms? Well, what if? Alrighty, now what if it turns out that well we said well, give me until what remember I said. What did I say on Monday? I said, get off my back. Give me until, what, Thursday or Friday or something like that to get more information? Well, last night I asked you to pray for Walking Sticks uh, report. And what if, you know, what if we found out, uh, finally, <laughs> that maybe, you know, what if a, not all the banks received the lower denoms? Not all of them, but some did. What if that was the case, huh? You know, a, a, a certain number, a specific number. Pick one. Pick one. Pick a certain number of particular banks. In, in, huh? Where did the trucks... Where did the trucks... Our luck was at the green zone. Hello. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Where, what's it? They're full of money. Funds. Where are they going? Unknown. Where are they coming from? Over there. What's that? Over there. The green zone. Oh. Is that where the CBI is at? Yep. Are there banks there? Yep. Shouldn't you leave some here first? Yep. Well, please do. And maybe in a specific amount of other ones too. Knock yourself out. And then finish them all up when you're ready. 
Because you all, you all have a receipt, don't you? Yeah, we do. Well, then give me that receipt. Here you go. Hold, hold, hold. Got a little ketchup on it. Sorry about that. Here's my receipt. Now what? Well, there you go. What else? Here you go. Distribute these. Okay. By the way, this, this is pretending to be Dinar's. <laughs> oh, he's passing out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, to summarize, what if on this past Monday, yeah, they didn't uh, get a chance to get all the banks, and that's why we didn't know. But then, what if they received a written receipt telling all of them, you're going you're gonna to get them? And you're going to get the date and time when to distribute them. And what if it turns out that, oh my gosh, <laughs> because they got the written receipt, here we go, we're delivering it to certain areas. And what if, oh my gosh, I mean, they originated at the green zone and they left the green zone to go to all the other banks. You might as well, you might as well see these yeah, before you leave. Hmm, so maybe particular banks... Uh, that have the receipts uh, of the of the notes. Maybe it's possible that um, those lower denims uh, are finding their way to to their final destinations. Really, honey, you had to delete uh, Astrum Nauta. Well, with that name, you should have kicked them out a long time ago. I think, I, I'm not too sure, but I think in Scandinavian, that means uh, knucklehead. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Knucklehead. Swimmer. Swimmer. My wife enjoys uh, doing that. So all of you, what, do, what are they called? Trollers? Trolls. Trolls. All of you trolls. <laughs> you just... <laughs> And one guy says, well, why are you deleting other people? Uh, you, you're censoring. Uh, this isn't right. Uh, you, you know what? This is my ub tubi Bye-bye. Gosh, I like that. <laughs> the value of my opinion is of no value. Until the days go by. KTFA Premium. I'm on my way to answer all your questions. God bless all of you. And I'll see you again on Monday. I told you there was more. And there's a lot more now. God bless. Take care. Aloha. Bye-bye.